what is going on guys man welcome to another edition of so driven sports podcast man i appreciate y'all being here with me man uh i am your host damo on leash here to talk indianapolis Colts all day every day i am a diehard Colt fan for everybody that's watching man if y'all look to the um, left of the screen you will see um, businesses that are being promoted. So if you would like your business, if you would like an event, if you would even like an album to be promoted, all you have to do is cash at me $10 to dollar sign, so driven LLC, and then send whatever it is that you want to be promoted to my email, okay? My email is so driven LLC at gmail.com when you do send the cash app please let me know um what email in that cash app message let me know what email that your promotion or your business is under so we can go ahead and get you up here as fast as possible but without further ado man the indianapolis Colts man had a game a pre their final preseason game against the philadelphia eagles um i was glad that the Colts allowed the fans, man, to see a little bit more of Anthony Richardson because they held him out the last preseason game. So it was good to get a good half of them. A lot of good, a lot of bad. But as a Colt fan, I just want to see progression. I'm not expecting the Indianapolis Colts to go to the Super Bowl. I think we are a few years away, man. Um, we really lack a wide receiver one uh they don't want to uh, i wish they would go ahead and pay jonathan taylor i mean at least give them 10. maybe you could do something you know 40 million four years 30 million guaranteed and just be done with it because man watching anthony richardson against the eagles and just kind of imagining what that can look like with JT, I think that will be a really solid offense. And we really could use them right now because our wide receivers are dumpster, man. They are dumpster fire. Alec Pierce, Michael Pittman Jr., I don't even think them guys are wide receiver twos. I think they are more wide receiver threes. Um, I think it would help Anthony Richardson right now if the coach just went if the Indy just went two tight end sets, get the two biggest tight ends you can find with the best hands and just use them, okay? Um, but I found some highlights, man. And these highlights is, this is what's promising when you watch them or we're watching Anthony, uh, Anthony Richardson. This is what we see, man, uh, potential. So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and play this video. We're going to break down a little bit of what, you know, we see in this video. I've seen the video with the bad plays. They don't have it in this video I'm about to show y'all. But these are his flash plays. And this is what gives me room for excitement. Is taking it one play at a time, guys. 21 years old, and he was named the starting quarterback. A lot of people thought, well, maybe they'd wait until the... Richardson coming out of the pocket. He'll keep it. On a third and 15, he gets 15. When was the last time that we had a quarterback that can do that? I mean, luck was probably the last one, but luck was only so, you know, he, was, he wasn't as athletic as this guy right here. AR is up there with the Lamar Jacksons the, um, and Cam. And so this is exciting to see. And they have to account for this because, man, that, it's easy to take. And I think on this particular play, it was called back for a holding. But this gives teams something to think about. And we haven't had a quarterback to be able to do that in a long, long time. So this has been encouraging to see. 
college offenses that he ran. Yeah, one of the things he brought out, we talked to him the other day. Good nice! Nice pass he's over the middle. That way, but a lot of growth came with it. He rolls out here. And sit well, and it really affected his confidence. I think that's why he went to go see the coach. Again, the fake passes right on target. And you know what? I think Indy, uh, Shane Steichen, man, I wish you would use him, tell him to use his legs a little bit more. And then when you do have him pass and you got the defense guessing, I think it will really benefit him to have very quick passes like this. Simple routes, simple passes, be able to read the defense and see um, and watch and understand how the safety is playing and just quick release, man, throw quick passes. I don't think he's ready for long play action passes quite yet, and I don't think we have the weapons to help him in long play action passes, not right now, but I think he could benefit from short, quick passes and just reading the safety and taking off and running. I wish they would uh, implement a lot of the offense like Baltimore and which Baltimore had. Um, Anthony Richardson, because he's bigger than Lamar Jackson, he won't take quite the pounding that Lamar Jackson has um, taken in the last couple of years. But I think they should use more of that offense than they probably will of what he bringing from the Eagles, who have A.J. Brown and who have um, Devontae Smith on the edge. We don't have nothing close to that. So I think our offense should be more like Baltimore's than it should be like the Eagles. Bowling over. Respect that fake, and you got to worry about the quarterback, and all of a sudden that opens up the RPO game. And Billy good job by the offensive the line, man, for goal. giving him good passing lanes. Juggles it here, keeps it. Look at this. And there he goes and turns it into a 50. You think you have that zone read, the back side. This is why he could end up being the be rookie of the year. The ball, but now that puts that defensive end in a real. Hands in the pocket. Throws, moving forward. And that's. But tonight he's been very much on target. Yeah, I think he's playing with points here. You think, okay, he's a runner, he's going to take off, but great shot. See, on that last play, let's go. Let me see if I can go back here a little bit. On this play right here, I wish he would just take off and run. Take off, run, slide, get what you can get. Uh, this, this play was a little too risky. I don't like when he um, throw passes like that, and I get it. Uh, he wants to prove that he can be a pocket passer. but. I think it would help the team if when he has a gap like this, if all you can get is four or five yards, you take that four or five yards, man, and, and draw that linebacker up. So then the next time maybe you can throw it over the top of him and get the play that you really want. But I think you, I think they would, it would serve them best if they set it up like that for him to run and draw the linebacker in. But I'm not a real coach. They're the coaches. I'm just saying. I would just take whatever yards I can get. Stay at, stay ahead of the sticks. Playing with poise here. You think, okay, he's a runner. He's going to take off. But great shot. On the roll. Throwing. Pass is caught. He's going to be able to get off the field. You, you, again, you start to see going back to that, that identity, that theme. What are we seeing? A lot of edge running, get him out. They value leadership, they value the locker room, they value a lot of the things that um, have made this organization successful. And, and Richardson looking good so far tonight, has time, goes to the outside, caught there by Deion Jackson. So Jan up getting a lot of unbelievable footage from NFL Films, and um, you know, just really, really nice happy pass. Uh, with the product that was there. Nice the pass. Number 11. Eagles show blitz, and here that they was come. An ice Touch pass. Look at escape, this. Spinning around, motioning downfield. And... You can't get that. There's only probably a handful of quarterbacks in the league that are capable of pulling off that. Because what a, a statue passer like what we've had 
Rivers, Carson Wentz, Matt Ryan, they that would have been a negative play. But I can only think of Jalen Hurts, Justin Fields, Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson. Let me see who else would other quarterback that could get out of something. Well, we know Anthony Richardson, of course, maybe Josh Allen. But there's not a lot of quarterbacks, Deshaun Watson. So you maybe got seven to eight quarterbacks that could have pulled off a move like that. And that's why I am, um, you know, I'm excited, even though I don't expect much from the Indianapolis Colts. And I hear, you know, people talk about, oh, he's going to be a bust. And this is why I think that um, there is some upside. And this is why I think you can play him early because he can pull off these kind of plays, which I don't see from C.J. Stroud or Bryce Young. I don't see them being able to do this. Not right now. We're gonna we're gonna bring pressure here. You better get to him. You're there now. You got to bring him down at six four two fifty with a four four forty. I mean that that is these linebackers. They get in. They got a chance that. and they that's cannot nasty. bring him down. Ooh, with that that's speed. Nasty. He gets out on the corner again. Man, let me just say this. All right, man. Um, I give him a C for that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not expecting him to be a Super Bowl winning quarterback in year one. It's going to be some growing pains. But I'm going to leave this video with this. Man, you Eagle fans, they were, did you guys see the video in which he did the fly, Eagles fly? And Eagle fans were butthurt saying, oh, it's, it's preseason. Oh. Man, you know what? As a Colt fan, I really wasn't expecting much out of my team this year. I know that we got a lot to work on. But the way I used to view the Philadelphia Eagles, I was kind of rooting for y'all. But now after, after that, man, I, I hope y'all go to this again and get beat again. I want y'all to go all the way to the end and get beat again and get y'all hearts broken again. I thought Philly was tougher than they are, man. Philly is a bunch of whiners. Matter of fact, y'all not too much. I mean, Pittsburgh Steelers fans are right behind y'all, and, and the crazy part is both of y'all franchises, y'all haven't done anything in the last decade. Well, the Eagles, they, they won, but y'all won with um, uh, foes. You know what I'm saying? Y'all were a uh, flash in the pan, one hit wonder. Y'all haven't done enough to talk trash and to have the attitude that y'all having. And the way y'all whine, man, I thought Philly was much tougher than that. Man, y'all making Philly look bad. And I know all fan bases have some whiners. I know our deputy, the coach fan base, we definitely have some whiners. But man, I expected more from the Eagles, man. Especially, man, the Eagles media. And y'all just a bunch of whiners, man. So if y'all do make it to the Super Bowl, I don't care who y'all against, man. I'm not rooting for no damn Eagles, man. I want to see y'all fall on y'all face again, man. Y'all need some humble pie. But, man, I'm out of here, man. Till next time. Everybody, y'all have a good weekend. Coats up. Everybody in the AFC South down. And I'm out, man. Peace, love. And the rest of that. Jump!